Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to be doing my May BoxyCharm unboxing. And how I like to do these is I do like to do them like a try-on style. That's why I don't have any, on any makeup right now because we actually have a primer to try out. I did look to see what was in the box, but I haven't tried any, like tried any of the actual products on my face or anything. And like I said, I didn't know what was in the box until I got it because I still like to be surprised. Like I follow BoxyCharm, so sometimes when I'm following through Instagram, I'll see like something. But for the most part, I do like to be surprised. Um, I just want to say I apologize for my hair. It's like third day hair and I just like didn't even curl it from yesterday. So that's why it's looking kind of rough. But um, yeah, so we're going to go ahead and, like I said, get started. You do get a little card in your box every month that tells you a little bit about the products and the price and things like that. So this is what mine looked like. At first, I didn't think, I thought this was all I got, but I do have a palette underneath there. But I'm going to start out with the primer, and this is from Cover Effects. This is their Blurring Primer, and this does retail for $38. It says it's a lightweight, soft focus primer that blurs the appearance of pores, fine lines, and other imperfections creating a smooth canvas for flawless foundation application. Now I've actually tried their one for blemish prone like skin and I didn't like it at all so I'm excited to try this one out. The pore filling primer that I've really been liking here recently is this one by Origins. This is amazing. It has this like awesome cooling effect and I feel like it creates such a nice base. Um, this one, okay so this one kind of reminds me of the Benefit Pore Professionals already. It has kind of like, if you guys can see this like a dark tint to it and I do not like the professional for me it feels very oily so I'm just going to place this in areas where I have like issues with my pores which is just like right here in the center of my forehead yeah see this one feels very like greasy feeling and I don't like that at all and I feel like primers like this a lot of times will tend to make me more oily than I already am so I will be excited to kind of see how this wears throughout the day and I'll kind of let you guys know down below if I felt like it you know, did anything like to help with my oiliness. I know it doesn't say it says be oil controlling, but yeah, so I think it did kind of smooth out this area. I don't feel like it did the best job at like filling in my pores and kind of making them not so visible. I definitely feel like my Origins one does a better job, but I mean, it's okay. Um, I definitely. Like these pores right here, which is where I have the most issues, is right here. I don't feel like there's much of a difference. But yeah, we'll definitely see because I am going to apply foundation over top of this. I'm going to be using my Fenty Beauty Pro Matte, Pro, Pro Filter Soft Matte Longwear Foundation. So I'm just going to apply this and my concealer and then I'll be back because we do have some like brow products and a lip product and stuff like that to try out. Right, so we've got some brushes. So the first one is by Aesthetica. It's the P12. It does say that this retails for $27 um, with, synthet with synthetic fibers that allow for maximum control. The P12 face brush is perfect for creating a seamless look. I will be honest, um, this is those kind of brushes that I feel like you can get like on those sets. If you guys can see, it's quite like flimsy. There's like, just, just not a brush that I like already I feel like I can tell but we're gonna try it for bronzer because I definitely wouldn't use this to set it with powder just because of the shape of this um, I do like something a little more round like this real techniques brush you guys can see which is super dirty but we're gonna try this for blush and for bronzer and I'm actually gonna be using my L'Oreal True Match Lumi bronzer I love this and I'm just going to really kind of pack this in here because I don't really feel like it's picking up a ton of product so we're just going to bronze up the skin at least we're going to try to anyways. No, I don't feel like anything's really coming off on my face. You guys tell much of a difference? I'm going to dip in there again and just try to go over all of this, but I don't really see... Yeah, okay, so I don't feel like this brush is picking up anything. It's just super flimsy, and I feel like it's not really doing much. I'm going to switch to this brush I uh, like from Ulta. This is actually the powder brush, but it's got like a squished shape, and I'm going to do this side, and we're going to see if we can tell a difference. See, I feel like I can tell, like, this just really, I feel like, packs the bronzer on and then just makes it so easy to kind of blend out. My hair is just like a nuisance today, guys, because it just... Like I said, it's like third day hair, so yeah, see I can already tell the difference. It's like that other brush I just feel like doesn't really pick up much product, but this one is just so nice. And again, this is the Ulta brand. I wouldn't pay full price for this brush because they already always have like the buy two get one free. I don't know what that is in my hair, but 
Yeah, so as you guys can see, this was the side I tried to bronze, and then this is the side with my regular brush. I'm just going to go back in with my bronzer over here on this side, so I can just fix that. And I'm just going to use the Anastasia. No, actually, for highlighter, I forgot. We have this one from Pure Cosmetics, and this retails for $30. It says it's a four-shade sculpting palette that feature, features two high-beam highlighters and two matte contour shades that will leave skin sculpted to perfection with highly pigmented and buttery formulas. So I haven't really tried too much from um, Pure Cosmetics, so I'm excited to give this a try. All right, this is what it looks like. You get two highlighters. This looks like a champagne gold, and this is a, a more like deeper, peachier gold, and then your two contour shades. Um, looking at this palette, I don't really think that this is going to work for every single skin tone. I I don't think this, I have light skin, so I definitely don't feel like this is going to work for more fair skin in my opinion, but we're going to give it a try. I'm going to actually use one of my favorite brushes to highlight with. Alright, so I'm going to try the highlighter just a couple different ways. First, I'm going to try it with my Beach Cosmetics number no. 7 brush. I like this because it gives me a very like natural look if you, like, you get a more intense height like the Amorese one. This just gives you more of a subtle. I'm taking the shade Originator and this is the more like light champagne gold shade and I'm just going to so it's like I said really really pretty. I really like it. It's definitely more like I said natural which I like but I definitely feel like you could intensify this. I will be honest though it does have a little bit of like that more powdery formula, like I don't feel like it sets on my skin as like nice as my other ones. It kind of reminds me of the Smashbox highlighter formula and the Tarte highlighter formula. It's got more of like that thicker um, kind of highlighter, so I feel like it doesn't exactly look wet and looks like it sinks in, but it also is one of those that doesn't really emphasize texture. I think it's really pretty. I could definitely see myself um, using this palette more often. So yeah, what do you guys think? I really like that highlighter. I think, like I said, just looking here in the viewfinder, it looks really pretty. It's very more natural. It doesn't sink into the skin. I feel like it look is like... I don't know, like blinding instead of those other highlighters, but I definitely like it. The formula, like I said, reminds me of the Tarte highlighters. Um, but now moving on to the contour shades, I'm going to be using this Wet n Wild brush. It's the P65. I don't like a super chiseled contour unless I'm doing like photography and things like that, like having my pictures taken. But I'm going to take just a little bit because the, the shades are pretty pigmented. Just tap off the excess and just add just a little bit of contour. So, alright, so this honestly I feel like kind of looks a little bit ashy in my opinion. And I honestly feel like it looks a little bit patchy. Like I feel like you can kind of see it here in like the viewfinder. I need to clean it up because I was blending. I did blend it down a little far. Um, but I just feel like it looks really patchy and it's quite ashy. I do like a more ashy contour, but I definitely feel like this is just a little bit too ashy for me. And I just didn't feel like the contour powder is really blend it out the best. I just, I don't know guys, I don't really like the contour powders. So yeah, I definitely feel like that really does like chisel out your cheeks, but for me, it's a little bit ashy. I kind of had to blend quite a bit and I still feel like it does look a little bit patchy right here in this area. Um, so I love the highlighters, but for me, the contours just didn't work for my skin tone. They were a little bit, like I said, too ashy for me and I did feel like trying to blend them out, it did kind of look just a little bit patchy, but definitely like the highlighters and I could definitely see myself, like I said, using this highlighter quite a bit. So I'm going to go ahead and we're going to apply blush now. So I'm going to try out this brush again and we're going to see if it applies blush any better. Alright, so now I'm just going to add blush and we're going to try this brush again. This is the Clinique Cheap Pop in the shade Nude Pop. So we're just going to try this to kind of... I just feel like I said again, it doesn't really look like it's picking up any product when I press it in and I just... Like it's soft on the face but it's just not... See, I just feel like it's doing nothing. Like, it won't apply my blush or anything. So, yeah. This one's definitely a dud for me. I'm just going to go back into my e.l.f. This is the Flawless Face Brush. And I love this brush. It just picks up so much product. And I feel like just applies it to the apples in my cheek so nicely. Alright, guys. So, now we have eyeliner and some eye brushes. So, the eye brush set is from the Aesthetica brand again. Where the last brush was. It is a three-piece eye trio. It says that it comes with an angled eyeliner brush, a brow spoolie, and a fine-tipped eyeliner brush. So basically this is $45. I can tell you right now I would never pay $45 for this brush set. You can get so many 
you know, sets really nicely. But yeah, I'm going to be trying out this one just because this is a very, very thick one. I gotta be honest, I couldn't imagine doing winged liner with something this thick. You do get an eyeliner to try this month, which I am really excited about. This is by Pretty Vulgar, and this is $24. It's the highly pigmented gel eyeliner, which provides quick drying application with enriched vitamin C to condition the lids. It's creamy and water resistant formula allows for smooth application that stays in place all day. So I'm not going to do a winged liner, but I am going to take this and just get really close to my um, lash line and just add some color right here. I love the packaging to this. It's like one of the, back in like the old days, I guess you'd say, you know, they'd have like the little pen in the ink and it's really, really cute. Mine actually did, I want to mention this, did come like half unscrewed and I did swatch this and I don't find it to be that creamy. So would you guys let me know if this is supposed to be really creamy and if mine, like I said, where it wasn't screwed on tight, you know, if it's, if that's the reason, but yeah. So I'm going to attempt to do this from far away, but like I said, I usually have to get up quite close to do eyeliner, so... Um, yeah, let's just go ahead and like I said, I'm just going to do a really thin line. So mine, like I said, mine's not very creamy and I, I don't know if it's supposed to be or not though. Because like I said, mine was like half open. So I'm wondering if it was because like it's dried out. That's why it's so like dry. line really close to my lash line. I'm actually going to go in really quick with the other brush and see if I can kind of just smudge it out to give my eyes more of like a smoked look to see if like that eyeliner's you can smudge it any. So yeah I definitely feel like you can smudge this eyeliner which is really nice. Um, I'm not sure how like water resistant it's going to be though but yeah I'm just smudging it out just a little bit kind of give it my lash line more of like a smoky look. I thought this brush made it really easy to get a precise line. I think that this is great to kind of smudge it out. Like I said, I have quite small, small eyes and I couldn't even imagine using this as a wing, but it does do a really good job, like I said, smudging that out. I also feel like it would be really nice to kind of like blow out color on your lower lash line. Um, but yeah, I liked it. I liked the eyeliner. It was really, like I said, nice to use. Wasn't like the most creamy, but again, I'm wondering if that's because mine's kind of dried out a little bit where it was open. But yeah, I love it, guys. So yeah, I'd give both of these a thumbs up. I definitely don't think this is worth $45, though. So if you're like wanting to purchase this, you know what I'm saying, like separately and you don't have BoxyCharm, I think you can find more affordable options than this. So yeah, guys, I am just going to go ahead and finish up my eyes, put on some mascara, and then we're going to come back and finish it off with the lips. Alright guys, and lastly we did get a lip product. So this is from the brand Beauty Creations. It's a liquid lip gloss. It says that it's a matte liquid lip gloss. It's specifically formulated to provide full coverage that dries to a seamless, smooth, and matte finish. It's lightweight application is long wearing for an effortless lip color that complements all skin tones. So this is in the shade Sweetheart and this is only $10. This is very similar to a shade that we got last month and I know I've got that here somewhere so I want to try it out. Yeah, I believe AdSense, this is what we got last year, but the colors are, are well, not super similar, but they're still somewhat similar, um, but I don't really like that one yet. I've been, like, trying to try it out, but yeah, so we'll go ahead and we're just going to try this out, so see how it works. So it definitely doesn't have, like, that lip gloss texture. Alright guys, so this is the lip color and honestly, I think it looks really, really pretty. I only had to dip in twice, once for my top lip and once for my bottom lip. It has, like I said, a very strong fruity scent. It smells like something I've smelt before. But I do notice as it's drying down, I do feel a little bit of some tingling going on on my lips. I don't know if that's like something in the formula or if we're supposed to do that, but I love the color. I don't find that was too patchy. As you guys can see, it looks really even. Um, I feel like it looks really good. It has sunk in just a little bit of my fine lines, but not as bad as a lot of other liquid lipsticks. And it has dried down, so we're going to see if it's like transfer proof. So, wow. As you guys can see, nothing. That's crazy. So, yeah, it is completely dried down. And 
Wow, I really like this. I might check out some more of this Beauty Creations brand because I love this formula. I think it's really flattering. I think if you're someone who likes liquid lipsticks but you find a lot of them to be dry or uncomfortable, this one is not dry or uncomfortable. So, well, I definitely feel like this is probably my favorite thing out of the entire box. Alright, so this box was $174 worth of products this month for just $21. That's crazy. I am going to go over my final thoughts with you guys on everything. For the matte lip gloss, I love this. And like I said, I would definitely be checking out some more shades. I think, like I said, it still looks so flattering on my lips. It hasn't sunk into like any... I mean, it sunk into a little bit of my fine lines, but not as bad as all these other lipsticks do. It's a nice, even application. This, like I said, by far is my favorite thing out of the box. The highlight and contour palette, I really like the highlight palette. Um, I do feel like, like I said, this, these, this formula is very similar to like the Tarte formula. I didn't love the contour shades. They are very nice and pigmented, but I did feel like I said they were quite patchy. I still feel like even looking in the viewfinder here and looking down here in my mirror, it still looks patchy because I kept having to like try and blend it. So I don't love the contours, but I really liked the highlights in here. And for the eyeliner, I really like the eyeliner as well. Like I said, I would love to know though, is this supposed to be a little bit more on like the, it's still creamy, but it's not like as creamy as like my Maybelline one. So is it because mine had dried out where it was like halfway open or is that the formula? You guys let me know if you did get the box and try it out, but I did really, really like this. And then the last couple products that I just didn't love, I absolutely did not like this brush at all. I will see if my sister wants this and if not. I will just give it away or something like that, but I definitely didn't like the brush and this little set was okay. It definitely was not, in my opinion, worth $45. I think you can get little sets like this from pretty much anywhere, a lot of different brands for like $10. Bucks. Um, I think even BH Cosmetics has a set that's very similar to this, but it was good, but I do, like I said, think that there are better sets out there for a more affordable price, but... Like I said, it's nice to see brushes and boxy charm. Then lastly is the Cover Effects Blurring Primer. This I do, like I said, we'll have to try out some more, wear it throughout the day. I did think it did an okay job with my pores, like again, just looking here. They do look fine, and I did use my Fenty Beauty Foundation because I don't think that this looks amazing over pores, so I do, like I said, like to use a pore filling primer with it. So this was okay. It's one of those, though, that I'm kind of nervous because it was like the Benefit Pore Professionals. It felt like it, you know, and everything. And that does not hold it very well on my skin. If anything, it caused me to get more oily. So I will let you guys know in the comments down below how this wore throughout the day. So, yeah, guys, that is it for this Boxy Charm unboxing. I hope that you guys enjoyed it. If you did, please let me know if you'd like me to continue doing these. I love doing these, like, try-on style ones. And hopefully I'll have my allure run up if my box gets here in time this month. So, as always, thank you guys so much for watching. Bye.